just begun. So now that we got court customization out of the way and you guys see what the man Till was able to create, yo, let me know in the comment section what's my ranking, 1 to 10. I know that blue and black, it clashes well for me. I like it. But getting into this next episode, my people, Stephen A. Smith is talking about Victor Oladipo challenging me and my squad to try to come through OKC and see if he can take us out of the picture. Now, we ain't going to let that happen. So let's go ahead and get into it, see what objectives we may have. So we need to just win the game and get one more point than Victor Oladipo, which shouldn't be too bad. Let's go ahead and examine the rewards now. So it looks like we get some Pacers gear, some shorts, the Oladipo flex, also the Superfly Pacers and the shoes. The one thing that I've noticed with this game, the shoes are a lot crisper when it comes to how they fit on each foot. You know, last year, if you played NBA Live 18, if you noticed somehow like the Jordan shoes, like the Jordan Mellows especially, they look so big on your foot, it almost just made you look disformed. But hey, it's a good look. Let's go ahead and hop into this private run and see what we can do, my people. So Victor Oladipo decided to bring a couple of superstars into my city and do something special. It's him, Jason Tatum, Sue Bird, Brittany Griner. Oh, but I got my Sue Bird on the wing, though. Let's see what she about to do with it. Passing it up to Tyson Chandler, getting that quick bucket for us. His squad I don't think matches up well with mine because we're pretty long out here. If you don't know who my characters are, I have Jeremy Grant, Kevin Knox, Tyson Chandler, and a Sue Bird him myself. So, hey, let's make sure we lock up. Oh yeah, Brittany Griner trying to get active, huh? Now they got me matched up with her. Okay, okay, I like it. Working in the round, Jason Tatum on the wing against Kevin Knox. I'm ready to see that matchup happen in the East and he's knocking it down. All right, let's be an efficient wing player here. Oh yeah, I'm cutting to the basket, back door. Perfect. We going up and under, getting away from the rim protectors though. In this game, the key is gonna be to take some major smart shots because we have Brittany Griner, which is a rim protector, Rudy Gobert, which is a rim protector, and it ain't gonna be easy to try to drive in the lane. We may have to take several mid-range shots, and that's okay by me. Oh yeah, Sue, right there. Who I see, nothing. Call for a screen, see who I can get open. Sue, coming off. We got Tyson underneath though. I saw her coming around that edge. I was trying to get the three. Jeremy Grant locking up Oladipo for me, huh? It was supposed to be me versus him, but he decided to take on the challenge himself. Almost getting strapped on. Let's feed it to him. What are you going to do with it? Nothing much. Ooh, ooh, what you jumping for? Mid-range. Almost getting it, but Jeremy Grant helping me out. Now tell me in the comment section, my people, what are your opinions of the demo so far? And is it a cop or not? That's what I want to know. From the amount of time you put into the demo so far, is it a cop for you or you have to make some more decisions still before you make that choice? As we're going to the cup, not wasting no time, coming strong off that right hand side. Yes, sir. Who do you think is going to have the better year out of Kevin Knox and Jason Tatum? I know Jason Tatum's already proven now, basically going into his second year as a sophomore. But Kevin Knox had a strong summer league performance. And he seemed like a pretty confident guy. Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can take that. Post up a little bit. Oh, he's not even letting me live a little bit out here. Now, we got a 12 to 6 lead. Sue Bird for Victor Oladipo trying to be real aggressive here. And I don't like that switch. He needs help. Oh, I'm there. Get my hand in there. It didn't stop it, though. What's his plan? Trying to do a hook shot on me. Disrespectful. Let's go. Let's push the tempo. Nothing special happening. Got him on the pick. Can I drive to the rim? It's crowded in there. Get out of there. There we go. All right, let's work a little pick and roll with Chandler. Got him. See if I can find him underneath. Jeremy Grant making it happen. Athletic. You need guys like that on your squad. Guys that can just fly.
Jeremy Grant is a high flyer. He's going to get those crazy dunk plays that you need. John Collins, Zach Levine. Name some of the best dunkers in the league right now if you pay attention to basketball a lot. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I got Kevin Knox in the corner. Let me see if he can work. Oh, yeah. I'm cutting. Right here. He's going up with it. No problem. Let's go ahead and reset. Not rush. Can I get a little lane to the basket? I got Tyson down there. Ooh, wee, that's a terrible shot choice. Somehow he got the friendly roll though. Now we got a 16 to 10 lead and this hasn't been like a showtime type game, which is okay. But I mean, it could be better. Let's see. What are you gonna do with it? Let's see if I can pull up for the mid range Perfect. one time. Yes, sir, dropping it down. Oh yeah, right there. Jeremy Grant, right there at the rim. Okay, you see this? How disrespectful for him to walk up the court like that. I mean, with the confidence, and then to come down and dunk on me. Wow. Wow. Hold on. We, we got to finish this off with disrespect. Can I get a handle? Pull up. Oh, you must be we going from me, deep. And he comes up I didn't get it to drop, but I wanted it to. Oh, no. We taking that. Can I throw it off the backboard? Yes, sir. We being real disrespect for ourselves. We throwing it off the glass to end the game because he wanted to try to walk it up and be funny about it. So now we get a chance to take a look at our private run reward. Let's see what they gave us in this one. Oh, so we got the super fly shoes. That's what I was hoping we got out of all of these, honestly. If not the shorts, but I'm happy to see that we got these because these are a clean pair of shoes and of course, you can never go wrong with more kicks in your library, right? So after defeating Victor Oladipo on my court, it looks like the process Joel Embiid wants me to challenge him on his court. Is that right? So let's see what this is all about. What are the goals that we're gonna get? So it says win the game and get two steals. So it's two minute quarters, full court, 5v5, one point blocks, and three point dunks. So these are like court battles rules, my people, if you are not sure what those are. But hey, let's see what rewards we'll get out of this if we do win this. So you get the 76ers ball, the one court graphic, 76ers logo and the one court logo flag. Not bad. That's a pretty good set of set of uh, gifts that you could get. But let's go ahead and hop into it, my people, and see if we can knock it out. You're facing off against one of the top centers in the game today, the future of the league and you're playing on his court, under his rules, against his squad. Show him your team is better. Show him you own this court. Show him you're the one. Now they souped up my team just a little bit for this one, I appreciate it. So I got Anthony Davis, LaMarcus Aldridge, Candace Parker, and uh, James Harden. <laughs> I'm not disappointed at all. Let's go ahead and use the tools that we have. Parker, out there on the wing giving it back to me. I see Aldridge though, cutting to the basket, flicking it up and in. Easy points is the way to go. So let's get back, check who we need. Paul George, James Harden on the wing. They're playing a little two-man game out there. Ooh, Tarazi hit me with a mean pump fake. And of course, MB getting the put back, being so aware. Now I'm liking these challenges in the rise. This is pretty dope. Oh no, give me that space to knock down the long range trade. Yes, sir. Steph taking his time out there. Oh no, no sir. We're not gonna allow that over in my world. Here we go. I got AD though, pushing up the floor. Paul George trying to move around on this backside here, huh? Baseline Steph Curry though, putting on the moves on Candace Parker and she clamping. Tarazi on Anthony Davis. That would be an interesting matchup to see. What George gonna do, huh? I feel a step back Jay coming. Oh, he just passes it to Steph. And of course, Joel Embiid making it look way too easy with the putbacks. Diana Tarazi on James Harden. Ooh, she working a little handle though. And that's not a good look. We got Joel Embiid on Candace Parker. She need help, help. Coming over. I saved it just a little bit, but that was a bad situation to be in for. Oh yeah. Tried to get that boost off the edge. Not working. Thought I can get a pick. There you go. Let's go post up. 
Oh, oh yeah. Got a bike down low. Don't fight, PG. Now we're starting to get going. Oh, now he's cutting back door, and of course, I'm getting punished just as much. There we go. We in the third now. I see LA at the rim. We got those eyes out here to find them when they're cutting. So let's see what James want to do. I got this screen. Oh, I'm cutting. I'm going to the rim. Joel got to move out the way because he isn't ready for that pressure, though. I'm liking the court design of this Joel and B court, though. This, if you don't know, this is one of the pre-order courts that you'll get if you do pre-order NBA Live and Paul George. That's not what you want to do. Let's go. I got James. Pull up. From range. Knocking it down. The camera phone celebration. We just got to drain this clock at this point. I mean, once we do that, this is a dub. Step back. Not getting it. Yes, sir. Candace Park, I see you. Go ahead and work. Should I cut to the basket? I should. Right there to finish strong at the rim. We got to watch a replay of that. That one-on-one -on -one off ball. That's going to be my bread and butter and live run in the league and all the game modes. Okay, now Joel's calling for it against AD. Still not getting it. And I'm blocking that. No chance. So at the end of that one, we got the 40 to 18 victory. Defense showed up and literally just nullified their whole offensive game plan, period. I don't know how Paul George got play of the game, especially taking that major loss. So we didn't complete our objective of getting two steals, but we did fill up the stat sheet, and that is always the plan. 18 points with seven assists. Working on our traits, total progress. We got 2,900 XP, 3,700 career hype. So we just got this notice that we reached the demo cap in NBA Live 19 and you have to upgrade to the full version. Obviously, the full version isn't out yet. So, hey, it's a good look. And I've also reached the maximum amount of XP that I can get. So until the full game releases, we're going to be doing live events, court battles, whatever is released for us. And we're going to go ahead and attack that. So, my people, if you enjoyed this series, make sure to stack it up on that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Your boy Till would truly appreciate it. And you can stay up to date on all my NBA Live content every time it releases. But hey, my people, we in the house. Peace, guys.